I'm with Steve and Cody and Dan Bell himself in the flesh. Hey and guys. <laughs> yeah. And we're inside the hair salon, but we're actually inside of an abandoned mall. And obviously the power is still running. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, people are just trash in this place. It's not, who knows how long until this place is actually just completely trashed and destroyed beyond repair. They gotta do something about this. If they wanna save the mall, at least. The whole salon is just still here. All their equipment, everything is just sitting here still. Look at this poster. It's like this poster is like right out of the nineties. Look at it. I've never. This is crazy. You know, my hair is down today. It's been a long, 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 long day. I've been filming everywhere, all around the United States. It's been rough. Since my since my hair is down, like Dan said, I have products here where I can do my hair right now if I want. We still have running water going on as well. Yeah, it looks like it could have been like some kind of food restaurant right there. Ugh, this is unbelievable. It's an apocalypse mall. This was the first mall in town. While opening in 1972 and having a total of 20 stores, the mall was doing great at first. But as time went on, the area surrounding the mall became home to more and more low-income housing, and after a series of events, it earned its reputation for crime. Violent crime surrounding the area of the mall and frequent fights began to break out in the mall itself. Those events became well publicized in the media and locals began relocating their dollars to a safer retail district across town near a different mall. In 2005, they planned to re-renovate the mall. However, in 2009, a local paper revealed plans changed and they're not going to do anything until the place collapses or falls down permanently. It's now 2016 and we're here exploring the forgotten left behind mall with Dan Bell along with Steve and Cody. Plans to demolish this mall begin soon, replacing it with a Walmart for 2017. Wow. All their movies and CDs and are all gone. All their shelves are still here. And racks and... All the posters are still up in FYE. Here we have an Akon poster. We have Akon Ben. I haven't heard of him in a long time. Dude, this is like the secret room in the back of FYE to get the exclusive CDs. The black market of FYE. $10 DVDs, it's a great price, but we must have missed the sale. Yeah, for real. Just cause this is a very old, dude, this has got to be an old poster. You think? <laughs> this is from like the 90s. Yeah, I right now we're in a bath and bath and body works. Yeah. <laughs> and you can still smell the the like the perfume type and this fruit is, smell. This is like the old school bath and body works. Yeah, for I know they changed the design on yeah. it. I know that. Yeah, this is insane. I, I never I am always like amazed when I come to this place. Like this is just crazy. I know. I Dude, like, i never seen so much stuff, like, just sitting here abandoned, be, and the lights are on. Like, if the lights were off, it would be a little more understandable, like, you could walk around. It wouldn't be as cool. But with all the lights on, it's like, I mean, I don't even, it's crazy. The tree that once stood. Oh, what? Dude, the, the, knee line on, the neon on the ceiling. Dude, there's a Santa sleigh. Santa's sleigh is just sitting here. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Dan, what are you doing, man? I'm gonna kill the lights. He's gonna shut the lights off. Dan controls this mall right now. I am lucky that I get to go travel all around the world and find these amazing abandoned places. I mean, what other mall looks like this, Dan? Is there any mall like this? No. <laughs> This, this is a is unique like mall. The best. Yeah, this is definitely the best abandoned mall probably in the whole country. 
letter to Santa right here. You're going to put your letters in. Dude, if you put your letter inside this Santa mail's box, it's definitely going to go to Santa. He's going to read that one. <laughs> We're going to the office right now. All the administration rooms full of data and stuff. Dan's trying to turn the music on. Whoa. Here's their snack room. What should we eat today? Oh, they didn't do their dishes. I wonder if there's food in here. Nope. Every abandoned place I go to, there's never food. And if there is, it's really, really old and it smells. This is where all the important stuff went down. Their meeting room. Glasses are shattered. Some blueprints and schematics over there. The middle of the mall. And another Santa sleigh right there. Santa sleigh. No, I can't. The creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, it's Santa's elf. He, he only has one hand, dude. He looks like demented. They are hiding a random doll in the bushes. <laughs> that is really creepy. And her face is so awful. Oh my god. Hold on, leave your light on so I can get a look at her face. It's like so bad. Oh my god. We hit the jackpot, boys. K Jewelers. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just storing everything in there, huh? These are the trees that were in those giant uh, pots. Well, over see, there. this is ridiculous yeah. because if you dropped a match in here, like the whole place would run up in flames. So instead of taking this stuff and getting rid of it the proper way, they just dragged it into the store. Yeah, huh? Dude. The golden egg. I don't think they're they're, they're going to hatch. It's aliens. <laughs> oh my god. We just we need to call Area 51. There's more too. Of Roasted chestnuts. That's what they want you to think. They're just a. <laughs> There's so many of them. I'm scared to touch them. <laughs> I think this is probably the creepiest hallway I've ever seen. I feel like like if I go down there, the ring is gonna be there, the girl from it. Everybody's hanging out in this door. Yeah. I don't remember, somebody told me what this was. I don't know if it's exactly. I don't know if it, no, it wasn't Farmers. It was like a, an Arby's or a Roy Rogers or something. One of those here? Yeah. Josh, Totally blood. You think so? Yeah, I don't know. Where's the blood trail lead? That's what I'm saying. Crime scene. So we had a crime scene here and there's blood on the ground, yeah. That's great. I don't know. Must have been a brawl here one day. A disagreement. Steve, what are you ordering? Me? Yeah. I'm getting a fried chicken wrap. Fried chicken wrap? Yeah. Let me see what they were serving here. Yeah, can I get uh, the fried chicken two-piece, please? Ooh, we are out of that. Out. Dude, what about an oyster sandwich? Also out of that. What are you, okay, what yeah. are you serving here today? We have, um, we have soup lids. Soup lids? And cups. 
Let me check. I mean, it looks like you guys haven't been serving food here for a very long time. We're, we're running low on staff right now. Running low on staff. <laughs> Nice. Everything is still running, like you can hear the power is just still on. Do we get, we can have a picnic back here. We can bring our own uh, food and cook it in the back. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can make pancakes. His, is the freezer still running? The freezer. No, it's not. Oh, I, would, that's, I was hoping it was going to still run. Oh, it smells in here. Look at the food that they Oh smell. my god, it smells so good. Applesauce. <coughs> oh god. Spices. Dude. It is so bad in here. <coughs> oh. That is horrible. That was one of the most worst smells I've ever smelled in my whole entire life. Another caution area is past this. There's two doors inside of the old studio. I'm gonna let's check out the freezer. Maybe the freezer's on in this restaurant. It looks way more newer than the other one. But it's just ridiculous how everything is still here. That's the that's what's so mind blowing about this place. Oh, fuck. It smells so bad too. And it's like 80 degrees in here. Yeah, it's so hot. Damn. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> That's These scary. are olives. Oh, they are. <laughs> These are olives that are now, they look like black, blackened burned Cheerios. No way. Good. Cody. Hey, Cody. I'm Brent. 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 <laughs> oh my God. This is amazing. Just randomly meeting like another here? person walking in here. I was just uh, looking outside because I've always been, uh, I've always been, well, uh, back in the day, I hung out mm -hmm. and hung out in this theater and I was just looking in the That's window. Awesome. Yeah, like, rem like memories, right? You're coming back to yeah. reminisce. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, right, I, just I came back a little because I, I was thinking that. Do you want to go out in the main corridor and look at it? I was thinking that they have projectors up in here and stuff like they're that. They're all stuff. gone. They're all gone. I mean, they, I think that there's still like the, the mechanisms, but the actual projectors. Are <laughs> still yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. But I was just wondering how the electricity is still on. That's what we're all wondering. That's funny. Crazy place though to explore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take Brent out to the main corridor so you can see the wall. So we're in the movie theater right now. We have candy, soda, and popcorn. We're just browsing. And it's just, this is amazing. Everything is just... Yeah, that was scary, huh? Randomly, just a random guy in here who was looking at the front door and just happens to be... A guy just trying to reminisce, trying to come in here again, like old times. So that guy you just seen in, the, in our clip, we got scared because he just randomly walked in the mall, and he just sees four explorers, all of us with cameras and lights on. And I guess he used to he used to come here when he was younger, so he sees this place now, and it's completely destroyed, but the power's on. So he's mind blown right now, and he's over there taking a walk with Dan, exploring. All of our lights combined, we should have enough. Yeah, enough I put my light on bright as. Put my light all the way bright just so we can check out theater one. So this is one of the theaters. Damn. It looks so weird um, without the seats here yeah. and the projector screen. There's only this one strip of carpet in the middle here. Yeah. So we checked every single room. And so far this is the biggest room here and the last room. And it actually still has lights, floor pa uh, light panels on the floors. And that's it. That's the last room. There's not a single seat in the movie theaters. I'm behind where they give you the tickets to watch the movie. <laughs> Get the prices. Yeah, bro. 
750. 750? Yeah, 750 for an adult. Oh, is that long? Yeah, and uh, 550 for our senior. So that's it for today. Um, I'm with Dan Bell himself. I mean, I could have filmed this abandoned mall without the legend of all abandoned malls. <laughs> <laughs> also, Cody's here. Steve's here. Subscribe to them. Subscribe to Dan Bell. Make sure you subscribe to Dan Bell, too. Um, that was it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this.